when your wages are being garnished, when you receive an income execution, which is another fancy way of saying wage garnishment, don't panic, don't flip out, don't quit your job and find another job. Keep calm. There are very strict limits on what they can take. They can only take a small percentage of your weekly salary. So don't flip out. It, it may be that amount that puts you over the edge financially, but still, it's a very small percentage. Call a lawyer. You have rights. I know those rights. I've been practicing law for more than 25 years now. I've been a consumer law for years as well. Um, as a consumer lawyer, I can tell you, you have rights. You have the right to try and get your judgment vacated. You have the right to try and, to try and work things out. You have the right to force the collector to, to their proof, to try and let them show that they owe the debt, that they own the debt. Let them show that you owe the debt. Let them show that they have the right to collect it. Let them show precisely how much you owe or how much they claim you owe. You have the right to put them to your proof. Odds are you knew nothing about this judgment. They could have served an old address. Some of these could be, you know, 5, 10, 15 years old, these judgments. You got to sit down with a lawyer who knows their stuff, someone who's used to dealing with this. Again, don't panic, keep calm, come to a lawyer who can help you out, come to someone like me who's been practicing for more than 25 years. Let's talk. People come to me, they say, when can a creditor garnish your wages? Most creditors can't garnish your wages until they get a judgment against you. And there are a whole bunch of steps they have to go through in order to get a judgment against you. They have to send collection letters. They then have to put the matter into suit. They have to properly serve you, which a lot of times they don't because they're operating on old information. They have to make sure they have standing, meaning they have the right to bring the lawsuit against you to begin with. And if the debt's changed hands two, three, four times, there's a good chance they may not have proper standing or they won't be able to prove it. So these are things that you, have, that you have to get into. Now, when your wages are being garnished, you're already at the back end of the whole thing. You're at the point where they've already gotten the judgment against you, whether you knew about the, case, the lawsuit or not. And now you've got to undo things. You've got to unwind things. And that's why you've got to come to an experienced lawyer who can get a copy of the court file and help you unwind everything and bring it back to where it was and what you do is you file an order to show cause with the court and you vacate the judgment and you wind everything back and then you move forward and force the other side to prove up their case or get the case dismissed at this point. But the important thing is to get the, get the first step started. When you get that income, that income execution in the mail, when your wages start being garnished, first thing you should do is pick up the phone and call an experienced lawyer. Call someone who's been practicing for more than 25 years like me. You got to unwind the damage. You got to get rid of that judgment, deal with the situation and wind everything back and then fight your lawsuit and stand up for your rights. You want to get a lawyer with experience in there, someone to roll things back, someone to get the judgment vacated. And now you're fighting on a level playing field. They have a lawyer, you have a lawyer, the judgment is vacated, your garnished wages have been given back to you. Now you can fight on a level playing field. Now you got someone in your corner fighting for your rights. Call me, Brian Bromberg. I've been a lawyer for more than 25 years. This is what I do. I fight for you. Keep calm and call Brian Bromberg.